Hunter, you know Sarah better than most. I'm relying on you to search her room and find this memento. Whatever it is. How's it going in there? Found it. All right. Wanda? Caretaker. Hi. How are you, uh, doing? I'm tired. It's been a long day. Almost. Fire! This is mercy compared to what's coming next. Besides, I wasn't talking to you! Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. Isn't Agatha? Reveal yourself. <laughs> I spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses. Mostly weaknesses. This is detailed information. Whatever they were paying Crossbones, they certainly got their money's worth. I hope we have information this detailed on Hydra and its agents. We have files, but nothing like this. The observations here are beyond extensive. Captain Marvel's trackable online activity indicates an unhealthy interest in cat videos. If I ever get cornered, I better have a cat handy to take hostage. He was sick. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption. Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I am surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. But Cap does not seem like the type to be easily flustered. Maybe it is best if we give him some time. Normally I'd agree with you, but time isn't exactly a luxury we have these days. If there's anything we can use on this drive, we have to know what it is immediately. Was there... anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones' files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Tell me why this is a problem. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull has something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants... Wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. You were looking at this the wrong way. How do you think I should see it? Crossbones made a point of drawing you to him. Then he found a way to get close to you. In the end, he turned on Lilith. He gave those files to the only person he could trust to put them to good use. That's an interesting theory, but I won't give Rumlow the benefit of the doubt. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge. Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course. It has been a while since I have seen you here, Sarah. I guess when you live forever, places of worship take on a different significance. It doesn't seem so important to turn to a high power when you're not faced with the inevitability of death. But now, death, to even us immortals, is becoming an inescapable inevitability. Ah, so here I am, asking for guidance. But the Elder Gods are long gone. Only whispers of their power remain. 
So I've been sitting here quietly, trying to listen to whatever advice they have to offer. If any. Well, they would want you to have faith that we can get through this. What? Like wait for a miracle? No, Hunter, that will not do. Sometimes I think you rely too much on the powers of light your ancestors gifted you. But what we need right now is swift action. Perhaps I should be asking Agatha. She would know better than I on what to do. Her spirit has only made herself known for one night, and she's already done more to heal the wounds of this team than I have in six months. Do not be so hard on yourself. You have been focused on the mission. Yes, but I feel like I've neglected the well-being of my team. No, Sarah. You have been keeping us alive. There will be plenty of time for more healing after we defeat Lilith. I do hope we get that chance. If we survive, I hope to learn more soft skills from her. She was always the more maternal one out of the two of us. I will not argue with you there. Well, I should leave you to your prayers. Let's hope someone answers them. Don't tell me. Red Skull's plans for Wendigore Monorail. Close. Red Skull dug them back in World War II, but where they go, well, we're not sure. Yet. There are some hints in Crossbones' data that a few of the tunnels might even be older. How much do we trust Crossbones' data? I trust it enough to investigate and launch reconnaissance. Up for a little smash and grab, Logan? Ah, uh, I see where this is going. It's a cannonball special. Except that you're throwing me at a whole mountain. We know you're strong enough to take it. Want in on the action, Steve? Negative. I need to poke around Crossbones' hard drive. There's still encryption I can't crack. Maybe it's spicy love letters from Crossbones to Sin? She's Red Skull's daughter or granddaughter or something. Anyone sharing a family tree with Red Skull is bad news. Dating Crossbones is proof of that pudding. That's right. I wonder what kind of murder sonnets those two deranged lovebirds wrote to each other. But while it would make some titillating nightmare fuel, we have bigger fish to fry. And it's a big old doozy of a fish. Something called Project Gottmorder. Based on my limited German, that sounds promising. Agreed. Only it could be nothing. Red Skull doled out fancy names left and right. I think the answer's here, in Crossbones' data. What we do know is that these tunnels go somewhere. And Hydra's hiding something. Something potentially big. Well, that's more context than I normally get for potential suicide missions. Into the Hydra nest we go. If we're really going into those tunnels underneath Mount Wondagore, get ready for some good old-fashioned grime and slime. Are you saying the Red Skull did not value comfort? The guy was a Nazi whose head was the color of an inflamed big toe. I doubt he was trucking in lacy throw pillows down there. I will adjust my expectations. The map we have is pretty loose, but luckily, you're gonna have me leading the way. So don't worry about getting stuck or lost. If you are confident you know where to go, then I will be right there beside you. Smart, Hunter. Real smart. Trust me and we'll get in and out of there before Hydra knows what's up. With any luck, we will learn the Skull's secrets quickly. Yeah, it'll be good to see what the old Bonehead was up to. You talk as though you knew him. It's not like we traded punches or anything, but I was in Canadian intelligence during the war. The Skull was definitely on our radar. As nasty as you'd expect. Obsessed with the occult. And this Project Gottmorder? That's new to me. Hopefully it lives up to its name. I'd hate to go all the way down there and find out it's just a regular old mortar. Something tells me whatever we find down there will be worth the effort. Oh yeah? What's telling you that? Voices in your head? Pure instinct. Whatever it is, I hope we can get it out of there. I don't want to spend more time in those tunnels than I have to. On that, we can agree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. You're headed into unsecured tunnels beneath Mount Wondagore with Wolverine as your guide. I'd understand if you've got some worries. 
I have full faith in Wolverine, and I can handle myself. We will be fine, no matter what we find in those tunnels. That is some A-plus courage you're displaying, Hunter. You and Logan will make us all proud. What was Logan saying about someone named Sin? Ah, uh, yes. She's a member of Red Skull's family. I've tangled with her a few times. She's a chip off the old block. Minus the giant Red Skull, of course. Do you think she knows about this Project Gutmorder? I have no doubts. I caught her trying to raid a museum for some of Red Skull's artifacts. If Crossbones was going to give his intel to anyone besides Lilith, it would have been her. But he did not. He gave it to you. Right. And that leaves us little choice. If we don't find this Project Gutmorder, it's only a matter of time before Sin does. How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last... sniff. And I was right. seen better. Ambush? This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means... Project Guttermorder. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still. This Lillian feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out. We can debate the house and wise later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. Still in this one. Should have that examined at some point.
harder than that. makes me miss Magneto. You're going home in pieces. Chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will. emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. The direct connection to Cthon in this thing is undeniable. And whatever that connection is makes this thing the most dangerous object on the planet right now. I agree with you. The Dark God's imprint here is the reason it demands to be understood. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer. At least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so... hopefully before that. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player. Even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. The Red Skull was your sworn enemy, no? Surely you have some sense of what to expect from him. I fought the Red Skull countless times and he never failed to surprise me. The only thing I could count on was his unbridled lust for power. Which would explain why he had a blade called God Killer. Good point. I guess I shouldn't be so shocked to find him tangled up in all this. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. 
And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. I do not know if anyone ever thanks you for your service, but allow me to tell you thanks. I'm just doing my job. And you were very good at it. Otherwise, I imagine this world would have fallen into an even worse situation long ago. It's true. I prevented the Red Skull from harming the world countless times. But there's not much time to rest on my laurels. There's always another Red Skull coming around the corner. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon, anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it, all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcom. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at... Taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. I know this is hard, Sarah. But life as we know it will become extinct if we do not take hers. I'm just sorry that the burden keeps falling to you. You must kill your own mother again. That must be incredibly difficult for you. It is just my destiny. A tragic destiny. A tragic for me, but a happily ever after scenario for everyone else. And that is all that matters. Uh, I fear sometimes I raised you to be too self-sacrificing. You raised me to fight for the greater good. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. So I think we'll leave it there for today's episode. So as always, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.